kind of place where the big shots of Inazuma live, huh? Hmm. Paimon kind of expected it to be... snazzier. Welcome, at last, to the Kamisato residence, honored guests. Miss Kamisato was delighted to finally meet you. Is this the Shirasage Himegimi you keep going on about? So, uh... Where's she at? <clears throat> oh, uh, behind the screen? Yes. <laughs> As the daughter of the Yashiro Commission, this is how Miss Kamisato is accustomed to receiving guests. Consider it a time-honored tradition within the Yashiro Commission. Forgive me if this is an un- mm, Makes sense. She's a super important person after all. Please forgive my lack of courtesy for receiving you in this fashion. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. And Toma assures me that you do indeed possess the- At present in Inazuma, in the name of the Vision Hunt Decree, the people's aspirations are being- Though the Yashiro Commission serves the Shogun, it is the people with whom we share close bonds. Given the contact we are required to- A Commission's power rises and falls with the trust of their people. The- Traveler, lend us your power and we can- Oh. Ah, <sighs> see, milady, it's just like I said. No, oh, please! Wait! Please. <sighs> I will introduce you to the Raiden Shogun, on one condition. What are your wishes? They pertain to three whose visions were taken from them. Perhaps once you've met them, you will understand. A warrior who guards a village, a former samurai who helped carry out the Vision Hunt Decree, and a swordmaster determined to become the best in the world. Does Paimon get that right? Correct. Please do all you can to help them. <laughs> then you have my gratitude. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do great. Let's see. Where's the person that- Why are you doing this? Why leave all of- Precisely. It's much too sudden. The children are desperate for you to take them out to play- That must be the guy Ayaka told us about- <sighs> If you want my opinion, something to do with- It's clear that Tejima had done nothing wrong, and still they confiscated his vision. After that, I can't claim to fully understand it, but I could tell that he'd truth be told. Seems like he's a well res- Ah, you must also be- Tejima has protected this place ever- Keeping out the treasure hoarders, fending off any monsters that draw near, but now, all of a sudden, we will gladly apologize. So what's made you want to up- Me? I... It's not a question of why I want to leave, but a quite true... But, and what made me want to come here 30 years ago? And why have I never wanted to leave? I don't have answers to those questions, because I can't remember anymore. Ever since they took my vision away, it's like... In the past... I knew I wanted to stay here, but what- Okay, well, in that case, if we- Hmm, but if you can't remember anything, it's not gonna be easy. Oh, maybe if you just try a little harder to remember, then- Oh, that reminds me. Last time- mm, I keep a diary? If you say so, I- Oh, yes, yes you do! And what's more, I re- Perfect! So if we want to keep Tejima from leaving, we- If you don't mind, we will leave you to find the diary. We- This looks like Tejima's diary. Let's see what we have today. The villagers and I got together to cook dry braised salted fish. I messed up today. I helped rescue a kid who had fallen in the water.
After I pulled him out, he told me that his best friend Bamboo was still in the water. I sur I went kite flying today. The string broke, so I chased after it as fast as I could. Hmm. Seems like your average... Huh? I went to pray at the shrine again today and stayed there a while. The oh, Now that's the kind of info we're looking... So this is the Omomori Tejima wrote about. Hmm, interesting. Looking at the color and the design, Paimon would have thought it belonged to a child. But anyway, if he had this with him all the time, there's a chance some of his elemental energy remains... that Tejima visited a lot? The soil looks like it's been disturbed. Maybe Tejima buried something precious here. Something that kept him in the village all these years? Must be something pretty amazing if it made him stick around for 30 years. Let's dig it up and take a look. <gasps> it looks like a letter. The paper's gone yellow. Must have been written a really long time ago. Konda Village. Sounds so familiar. Where is that place again? Huh. So the reason Tejima came here was to wait for someone. But he's been here for 30 years. Oh, guess they didn't show up in the end, huh? Well, let's go give Tejima his stuff back and take it from there. I'll be. That's certainly my handwriting. And I guess the Omamorian letter belonged to me, too. <clears throat> but I have no memory of anything that's written in this diary. Still, it's clear that I was waiting for someone here, and that I chose to wait for 30 years. Over the years, I must have made a note of anything interesting. Anything that I could share with her when we were finally reunited. <sighs> and just look at all the things that did happen over the years. The time has flown by so quickly. Thirty years feels like the blink of an eye. How could I have forgotten something so important to me? Hmm. Now that I think about it, when my vision was taken from me, it felt like I'd suddenly been... hollowed out. Love, regret, everything I felt for her, it's all disappeared. No, not especially. After all, I've forgotten who she was. Her face, her voice, the things we experienced together. I barely recall any of it. It's as if she'd never been in my life to begin with. As if all these years... Mm, I think... maybe not. If this is something I waited most of my life for, I suppose I should carry on waiting. Although, what if she were to turn up eventually, only to find I didn't remember so much as her name? Wouldn't that be upsetting for her? 
when I think about it like that. I do feel a slight tinge of sadness in my heart. How curious. Why am I thinking like this when I don't even remember who she is? It's just like that feeling of emptiness. The feeling that something is... missing. <sighs> Thank you both for helping me reconnect with my reason for staying here. I shall remain here and keep waiting for her. Tejima seems to be dealing... okay. Seems it's just like Ayaka and Toma were saying. If you lose your vision, you lose all your hopes and dreams too. That certainly explains the state Tejima was in earlier. At least we were able to help him, weren't we? <sighs> well, let's go find the next person. They say the Tenryo Commission is directly controlled by the Shogun. They're the ones responsible for maintaining law and order in Inazuma. The ones actually... But why would they take action against one of their own? Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Huh? There seems to be some commotion over there. Let's go see what... I'll ask one more time. Do you intend to withhold this month's emergency provisions? The entire clan is counting on that food. We dem How many times do I have to say it? I don't know anything about emergency provisions. You dare deceive us? Those provisions are essential. Do you samurai think you can just do whatever you please? The Tenryo Commission will hear of this. Oh, uh, huh? And who are you? Uh, what? We just happened to be... We heard the commotion and came to see... I see. You seem to have come just at the right time. This is Kurosawa. He's a samurai and a member of the Shogun's army. They issue emergency provisions to the area, and he's the one responsible for dis- In the past, we'd simply ask him for provisions and everything would be delivered. He's keeping the provisions for himself, I just know it! We'll no one seems to care about us. We used to think Kurosawa was a kind man. It's no wonder all the visions have been confiscated. The Raiden Shogun doesn't need people like him helping her rule the nation. This must be one of the people Ayaka asked us to help. But why would she ever want us to help someone like him? Maybe we should talk to Kurosawa. I've never even heard of these emergency provisions. I don't know whether it's rumors or whether they're trying to blackmail me. But either way, it's ridiculous. If I was hoarding supplies, would I still be the poor man I am today? My own family can barely get by as it is. No, if you look... That's the first bit of truth I've heard all day. The Shogun's army told me that I was unworthy of my vision. And they said I was slacking off in my work. Apparently, I'd even disappointed the Raiden Shogun. And that's why they confiscated my vision. Well, that's strange. You were helping enforce the Vision Hunt Decree. Why would you be unworthy of your vision? To be perfectly honest, I don't seem to remember the details. All I know is that I would perform certain things every month. But I don't recall what they were. And it's not just that. I have this unsettling feeling. Like, like someone owes me something. Does it have to do with the missing emergency provisions? I didn't take any. Like I said, if I was taking them for myself, I wouldn't be going through such hard times right now. To top it all off, my house was just raided by treasure hoarders. Which is why I came here in the first place. I was chasing after them when I got held up by these two. If you don't believe me, go find the treasure hoarders yourself. If there were any emergency provisions to be had, they would have found them. Huh. He seems to be telling the truth. But we better confirm. Let's go round up those treasure hoarders and see what they have to say. We should be able to follow their tracks. They couldn't have gone too far. We really outdid ourselves this time. 
All those samurai houses packed with goods? <laughs> we really hit the jack. You haven't seen anything yet. There'll be a- Today's just the beginning. I'll be leading you all on an epic journey. You demand, boss! These seem like the treasure hoarders we're after. Ah! I got careless. Steady as stone. This moment will be frozen, frozen in time. Dodge this. Freeze. Cool it. Let's light it up. I'm going in. Off we go. All the mora. We worked hard. Come on, boss. Think of something. <clears throat> Not bad, kid. Y you ever think of joining the treasure hoarders? Kurosawa. Oh, I remember. So he's the one who sent you after us, huh? <laughs> Just our luck. I knew he should. So what did you see inside? Was food supplies? <laughs> you kidding? That place was a complete mess. All we found was. I didn't want anyone else to see it. So I was planning on opening it, but now that you've caught us, how about we make a deal? That- You've got a deal! Now show us what's- Huh? What the-, the There's nothing in here but IOU! Yeah, a lot, and they all seem to be made out to the owner of a general goods store. Um, we better talk to this Miss Aoi and get to the bottom of this. As for you guys, you're free to go. Just pray that our paths don't cross again! Yes. So, we redeemed ourselves for some IOUs. Uh, does that mean we broke even? Shut it. Let's just get out. Welcome to Tsukumomono Groceries. We've got everything you need. Can I help you find, or perhaps, there's some... Ah, so you're friends of Kurosawa, I take it? <laughs> Perhaps you're here to pay off his debts. Whoa, whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves! We're just here to learn where they all came from. How did Kurosawa end up owing you so much money? Did he buy anything super expensive here? Let me think. Kurosawa would come regularly to purchase large quantities of foodstuffs. He'd always put the payment on his own account. However, the price of provisions began to skyrocket recently, and his salary was no longer enough to cover the cost. So, he started writing out IOUs to cover whatever he couldn't afford of the usual amount. So that's how he was getting those emergency provisions. But why did he have to purchase a usual amount? If the price is increased, couldn't he just buy less? Well, if you think about it, the citizens receiving the emergency provisions must have been carefully calculating how much they needed to sustain them each time. Kurosawa thought that it would be quite the disappointment for them if they found they didn't have enough, especially after such long and careful planning. So he deemed it necessary to take on the debt rather than let the people down. Wow. Kurosawa was purchasing all the emergency provisions at his own expense! And no one ever appreciated what he did. They just complained and held him accountable! People's attitudes will always reflect their circumstances. In the face of hardship, nobody cares to think twice. Uh, if you ask me, had Kurosawa told everyone the truth about the supplies from the start, then there wouldn't be such a severe backlash now. Of course, I'm sure there would still have been some unrest. What he was doing was truly a thankless deed. As for why he chose to spend his own money on emergency provisions and never tell anyone, I'm still not too clear myself. If you're still curious, why don't you go ask him- I see... That reminds me, it seems that his vision was recently confiscated. 
Most unfortunate. If he doesn't clear the debt on his name, he'll have no choice but to sell that sword that is so dear to him. Sword? What sword? Oh, didn't he tell you? He possesses a very valuable blade. He's carried it for years now. I've asked him about its origins. He told me that it was a gift from his father, that it was too precious to sell. In hindsight, I regret that I never made an offer on it. Everything has its price, at least that's what I think. Why don't you ask him about the sword yourself? Perhaps it'll even provide you with the answers you're looking for. Oh, but before you go, if you would kindly settle today's bill. <laughs> but we didn't buy anything! <laughs> Information is also a kind of commodity, wouldn't you agree? Don't worry. I won't charge much for information about Kurosawa. At least we now know where the emergency provisions are coming from. Plus, we found out that Kurosawa has a priceless sword in his possession. Let's go talk to Kurosawa again and see if he can remember anything. Um, what are you doing here all by yourself? Where did those other two go? I presented them with a choice. Either they left or I drew my sword. They left. It turned out to be a real time saver, actually. Perhaps I should start using it more often. Did you manage to track down the treasure hoarders? Everything I said was true, right? sums it up. It turns out that you really were distributing emergency provisions, but they were all purchased at your own expense. Strange. Is that really the kind of person I was? I don't really have any such recollection. Even after all you've told me, I still don't remember anything. Why was I purchasing emergency provisions for everyone? And why would I put myself in such a difficult situation? I really don't understand, but I cannot deny that when I brandished my sword to scare those two away, this sword was once wielded by my father. I remember once when I was young, I wanted to sneak out with the blade and show it off to the kids next door. My father ended up catching me in the act and scolded me severely. What did he say? <sighs> I can't seem to remember that either. It would seem that I forgot many important things when my vision was taken from me. So many memories gone. Forever. No matter how hard I try to remember. All I can remember now is my father telling me that this blade bore his life's creed. Before he passed away, he placed the sword in my hands and said to me, if you look carefully, there seems to be some words engraved on the hilt. Can you recognize the words? Virtue? It, somehow those two words seem to explain everything now. Taking on seemingly endless debts to make others happy. I guess that must have been my greatest ambition after all. But what use of virtue and justice? I purchased the provisions for those in need. And look how things ended up. The Tenryo Commission seized my vision. And the very people I was so desperately trying to help refused to understand me. And the irony of all of it is, I somehow still felt sorry when threatening them with my blade. I'm incapable of being a good person, yet I'm equally unable to be bad. I... I don't know what to do with myself. Yet another troubled soul. When we get the chance, let's speak to Toma about Kurosawa's debt. 
The Yashiro Commission would surely help cover his expenses. In any case, we must never let him sell off that sword. Yeah, seems like losing all ambition is a terrible experience. Fortunately for us, you don't have a vision. Let's go find the next poor soul. 